What's up guys, my name is Puneet and I am the co-founder of Programmage. I am also an Oracle certified Java programmer and a former Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. I am delighted to be your instructor for this video series on JavaScript. In this series, we will take a deep dive into the world of modern JavaScript from the very basic to advanced concepts. And by the end, you will have a good understanding of JS and be ready to create awesome JavaScript projects. So without further ado, let's get started. In this video, we will learn what JavaScript is and why it is used. Then we will write our very first JavaScript program. Let's get started with what JavaScript is. JavaScript is one of the most popular and dynamic programming languages out there. In earlier times, about a decade or so ago, JavaScript was primarily used to add interactivity to web pages like form validation or showing a pop-up on web pages. However, the language has evolved a lot in the past decade Nowadays, we can create powerful, dynamic, and full-fledged web applications using only JavaScript and its frameworks such as Node, React, Vue, and many more. JavaScript is also used to create mobile apps using the React Native Framework, which allows us to create both Android and iOS apps from the same code base. That's why big companies such as Google, Apple, Microsoft, Netflix, and many others use JavaScript to create many of their products but it's also used by thousands and thousands and thousands of small companies as well. So learning JavaScript has a lot of advantages. You could work as a web developer, front-end, back-end, or mobile developer. And if you have some great ideas, you can use JavaScript to build your own mobile and web applications. Before we learn to write our very first program, our computer needs to install a program called Node.js and a text editor to edit the code. Now, since you're a beginner to make this process easier, we have created an online tool that lets you run JavaScript code on the browser without installing anything at all. To access our online JavaScript editor, you'll have to open your browser and go to this URL, www.programis.com slash JavaScript, J-A-V-A-S-C-R-I-P-T slash online dash compiler. I'll repeat that, it's www programis.com slash javascript slash online dash compiler. I'll also put it in the video description below so that you don't get confused. And now when I press enter, it's open, it opens up my compiler and now I can start writing JavaScript code. Now that my code editor is open, we will write our JavaScript code in this area and when I hit run, it will execute the code and show the output in this area. Let me write a simple program called hello world to test it out. If you don't know, a hello world is a simple program that displays hello world on the screen. Since it's a very simple program, it is often used to introduce a new programming language to beginners. To create a program that prints hello world, I simply type console.log followed by parenthesis and inside the parenthesis, I will type hello world enclosed within quotation marks. Now to run this code, I will simply click the run button. As you can see, hello world is printed on the screen. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. If you're following along with the video till now and doing all the things the same as in the video, well congratulations. You have just written your first JavaScript program. We will be using this method to write our programs in our upcoming videos. So if you want to learn JavaScript, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, I have a little recommendation for you. The best way to learn programming is by writing code. If you are only consuming the videos without actually writing code yourself, you will soon forget and lose interest. So I highly recommend you to practice what you have watched as we move forward in this course. So if you haven't already, go ahead and run this program on your own. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you like this video, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon so that you don't miss the next video. If you have any questions and feedback, you can use the comment section below. And in the next video, we will learn about JavaScript variables and how they are used to store data in a program. See you in the next video. Happy programming.